What's up, YouTube world? I want to talk to you guys today about um, exploring your cities. There's more resources than you know what to do with a lot of times. There's so much information online, but a lot of it is just going down to the government building, uh, looking through stuff, putting a list together, figuring out what is best for you and your company. Um, are you looking for more government work? Are you looking for something year round? Are you looking for whatever? You know, you're, you're, you're looking to be a bigger company. You want to grow. You want to be motivated. You want to have everything you can have in life. But how do you get it? Where do you go in government to find a lot of the resources that you need? Typically, I would go to um, vending, find out how to become a vendor in your city. How to, uh, you know, you got to have your insurance. Most likely, you're going to have to have like an LLC or so, some kind of corporation. Uh, you're going to have a physical location. Um, resources, uh, references, um, it, it's, it's really hard to sit there and go, hmm, X, Y, Z, and that's it. No, there, there's more to it. You can go to the library, you can go online. Going online is probably the simplest way to find everything, but sometimes you might want to find the nooks and crannies, uh, the departments, you know, you want to meet the people downtown or in City Hall, or your county building, or whatever it would be, you know? Find out who they are, how they can help you. Um, gonna get on the freeway here. It, it's, it's pretty exciting. When you own your own business, you can go out there and talk to everybody. Everybody. And let them know who you are and what you can do for them. Don't let uh, other people tell you what you can and can't do when it's your business. It's your business. Pay your taxes. Make sure everything's uh, honest, forthcoming. Make sure everybody knows who you are. The guy across the street that's uh, watching you uh, get out of your work truck. Go over there and talk to them. Hand out your business card. Uh, when you're in the checkout line at the grocery store, hand out your business card. You don't know who people know. Typically, the, uh, the average person knows about a thousand people. You talk to five people a day, you just grew your network. Um, if you talk to five people, five new people every day, you don't know who you're going to meet. It doesn't matter where you come from. It matters what you're going to do today. Um, plan for the future, but always be ready to grow your network, to grow and build something that's bigger than what it was yesterday. But have a plan, have a business plan, have a marketing plan, have business cards. As you drive your city, think of ways to grow your business. Um, are there legitimate services that you can add that's going to add profit in your pocket? Don't be everything to everybody. Be, be more than what you were yesterday, but don't be the handyman when you're mowing yards. You know, I mean, st stick to something. Don't be the window washer when you're when you're the landscaper. You know, don't be the um, uh, jack of all trades when you're not going to be a master of anything. Um, if you're going to be a jack of all trades, be be the best. Be known. And it, you know, it's important. It's important because no one else cares like you care. You know, no one else is going to give uh, too too much 
like you. You, you know, you're, you're going to wake up, and when that customer calls, they have a complaint, you're going to pick that phone up, and you're going to show them how you can help them, how you're going to solve their problem before anyone else does, because you care. Um, it, like I say, it doesn't matter where you were, where you came from. Jesus talked about it in the Bible. He told the person that was sinning to stop doing it and to go forth and, you know, live that new life. Live that new person that you became. When you become a Christian, you're born again. The, the idea, I, I think, uh, with that, don't take, take it the wrong way, but this kind of a, just to say, hey, you know, we've all messed up in the past. Let's go ahead. It's a new day. It's a new start. It's a new beginning. You're, you're born again in Christ. And uh, go forth and uh, live, live your life Christ-like. Be a Christian. Be an example. Set yourself apart from uh, where you were, you know. If you were messing up before, don't mess up. You know, you know better. You know what's right and what's wrong. And um, it's just good to be an example. Um, I was watching a YouTube video, for example, yesterday. I think it was last night, but let's say yesterday. I don't remember what time. But in it, it talked about how he used to love watching or listening to rap music. Well, he's like, I'm not into that anymore. You know, they're talking about, you know, violence and, and certain things that aren't really good for your psychological um, positive attitude. And it's important that you put good thoughts in your head. And surround yourself with good people. Now, I'm not saying you isolate yourself. I'm saying you surround yourself with good people. So the majority of the time, you hang out with good, positive people. People that are growing. People who are looking to better themselves. You know? So you can bounce ideas off yourself and, uh, and them. You know? They're, they're going to show you what to do. They're going to show you how you can do it. Just be better. Just be honest with yourself that you are the person that's going to make the difference every day. And uh, it starts today. It starts by deciding that you're going to be that person. You're going to be the person that decides to be successful or not. You're going to be that person that decides to Grow a business to where you want it to be. And if you really don't understand that idea yet, it's okay. There are people that are willing to teach you. There are people willing to show you how. All over the place. All over the place. And like I said, it doesn't matter where you came from. It matters what you're doing today. To move yourself in a better direction because there's opportunity every day. People say opportunity knocks, um, and I think a lot of people get the wrong idea. Like, you only have one opportunity. Like, oh my goodness, it passed me by. It didn't pass you by, you know? Opportunities here every day. You can make the decision today to change your life. And if you don't do it today, and if you have to go to work at a regular job before you start your lawn business, before you start any new business or new idea, tomorrow or later that next week because your paycheck, you had to pay rent, and that was, I don't know, $5,000, $2,000. All you have to worry about is how you're going to um, start. You have your plan, you have your uh, contacts, you have everything that you need in your head on paper to get started. If you like this video, give it the big thumbs up, spread the word, share and spread the word as I say usually.
Uh, check us out on Patreon and other social websites. Um, and if you find it of any value, check, uh, click the link down below. Uh, donate at PayPal. And uh, see you in the next video.